there! Welcome to Doll Motion! Some of you may know, I really like Lika dolls. I have a few of them. Nah, I take that back. I have a lot of them. I used these dolls in previous videos. And I talked about the history of the doll in my Alice in Wonderland repaint video. So go and check that out if you haven't. Although Lika dolls look the same, they have some variations in their face molds and face ups. Like you have the original icon of the brand, Lika. Lika's friends like Sakura and Maria. Some more friends like Hina and Emily. And she also has a boyfriend called Ren. Yeah, I had a spare blonde Ren hat, so I made him a twin sister. If you don't really like the Lika bodies, they are perfect to make a hybrid by giving them a pure Nemo or an Obizo body. Like I did with my custom repaints red and blue. If you are wondering why blue and Alice look kinda different, it's because I gave them a re-repaint. Yeah, I still struggle to paint the face up on such a tiny head, but I think I did a better job now. Blue looks less like an evil mastermind and more as a spoiled child. And Alice, although I liked her original repaint job, mm, I really thought she doesn't really look like a child anymore. She had too much going on on her face. So I toned it down and gave her a more natural look to make her younger and childlike. Yeah, if you don't really like your face up, just clean it off and start over. I have plans to redo Red's face, but I will save that for the trainer green repaint video. As you can see, I almost have the complete Lika family. I have the dad, the grandmother, the triplets and the twins. I'm only missing the mom. <sighs> Though I have a lot of Lika dolls, they're very hard to find in Europe. But you know what? I know someone who's going to Japan, my dad. When he was in Japan, I asked him if he maybe can bring me a doll. I sent him an image on WhatsApp with no hopes and I forgot all about it. When he returned to the Netherlands, he gave me the dolls he found. I could not believe my dad went to a toy store in Tokyo to look through all the pink boxes to bring his 20 plus dollar a doll. Yeah, that image is just priceless for me. But yes, he brought me the doll I wanted, the mom. And also the newest Lika doll in a princess dress. So let's unbox them. Starting with Lika. Wow, she's coming with a lot of stuff. A lot of cute images on the back with Japanese text. Let's get her out of the packaging. There are colorful roses on her dress, very fancy like. She comes with a lot of rose-themed accessories, like earrings, a necklace, a tiara, shoes, a wand, and a purse. Wow, she looks so spoiled. I think I like her more natural. Less is more. And now for the mom. Wow, she's so pretty. And here we have the whole family on the back. Yeah, they know you want to collect them. Oh wait, there's a dog! Getting mom out of the packaging. She comes with the only accessory, her shoes. Taking off the hairnet. And here is mom. Aw, she's very pretty. It's like Lika, but as an adult. She has earrings and also the weird bending arms. As any other Lika doll. Look at those curves. And now we have the whole complete family, except the dog. Hmm, need to find a way to get my dad to Japan again. Hey. Hey, bro. What's that noise in the background? Where are you? In Japan, on a legal convention. In Japan? Again? But what's up, bro? Wow, you really spend a lot of time in Japan. 
Uh, but I called you because I needed to talk to someone about Penny. Things are kind of different now that... No way! Penny finally told you she loves you? What? Penny is in love with me? Oh, you didn't know. So, wait a minute. Penny also has feelings for me? How long have you known? Um, about five years. Five years? How did I never notice this? I also asked myself that, you blind chicken. This is not one of your pranks, right? Although this would have been a great prank. No, she is really hopelessly in love with you. Which you also have feelings for her, right? I'm not sure what I feel. But I know I need to see her as soon as possible. I'm taking the first flight home. I have to go, sis. Go, brother. Go to Red Squirrel. Look into her eyes and tell her... Oh, he's already gone. And he's going to be my sister-in-law. As a hobby, I really like to make my own doll clothes for my Lika dolls. And in my short break from YouTube, I started to make doll clothes for Penny. So she will look good in her future stop motion scenes. But I kinda make too many. So... As a celebration, I reached 50k subs on YouTube. And over 10k followers on Instagram, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away these outfits. We have the polka dot dreamy blue dress with hair accessories and shoes. The flamingo pink dress with hair accessories and shoes. And this polka dot red dress with also hair accessories and shoes. But that's not all. The winners will also get some Dutch candy some Pokemon cards, stickers, and my card. And of course, the outfit itself. Two, I will randomly give away on YouTube, and one on Instagram. So you have two chances to win on two different platforms. This is how to enter here on YouTube. First, you need to be a subscriber. You need to have your parents' consent to enter if you are younger than 18 years old. Because I will need your address. Use hashtag dolldress in your comment under this video so I know you want to enter. And I will need something like your Instagram name so I can contact you. Because YouTube made it kind of impossible to contact anyone directly. And to enter on Instagram, you have to follow the instructions on the newest picture I post on Instagram. The winners will be announced after a week on Instagram. So good luck to everyone! Well, that was it for this unboxing long stop motion giveaway video. The next one will be an ordinary repaint video that will burn in a good way. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for supporting this channel. Thank you all so much for reaching over 50k subscribers. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!